All right, let's take a look at here, letter R down. On, um, so I'm on the part two of this worksheet where it says find that value for X. So again, if I have to kind of box it in here, I'm on this part. So I've already did a video on this part, so I'm not talking about that right now. Okay, so we're looking at just this part here. So we're looking at letter R. So I have parallel lines, but look, I have algebraic expressions in there. How exciting, okay? And again, I have to find out what X equals. So, taking a look here, okay, this is here, this is here, and it looks like, again, they both, both angles are in the top left of the group of four. Notice how, again, 6x minus 20 is in the top left, 2x plus 40 is in the top left. So if they're in the same spot, that means they're corresponding angles, and corresponding angles are equal to each other. So that means I can write 6x minus 20 equals 2x plus 40. Because they're corresponding angles, they're equal to each other. So just set the two uh, expressions equal to each other. Now, let's go ahead and combine like terms, because now we're just solving an algebra, uh, algebra problem. 6x and 2x are like terms, so let's subtract 2x from both sides. And 6x minus 2x is 4x minus 20 equals 40. And then let's combine negative 20 and positive 40. They're on different sides, so I need to do the inverse operation. And 4x equals 60. And then to wrap it up, we divide by 4 on both sides. And x equals 15. So that's what x equals here in this problem. Now, there will be some problems where you actually have to plug it back in to find out what the degree is. And just because I'm curious, let's do that. So it would be 6 times 5 minus 20. So 6 times 5 is 30 minus 20. So it's saying this is 10 degree. Oh, it was 15. Mr. Schwand, you're a silly goose. So just because I'm curious, let's try that again. 6 times 15 minus 20. 6 times 15 is 90. And 90 minus 20 equals 70 degrees. So this is 70 degrees. And then here it would be 2 times 15 plus 40. And that would be 30 plus 40, which does equal 70 degrees. So both these angles are 70 degrees, and x equals 15 in that problem. All right, now let's talk about letter K, because this looks like a lot more fun. All right, letter K here. So it says 5x plus 10 in the angle on the top left there, and then it has 9x plus 2 on the top right. So they're not corresponding. Hmm. But let's use our knowledge of what we know about all the theorems that we've learned. So, 5x plus 10 is here. Isn't it true then that, that this angle up here is the same measure because they're corresponding angles? So this will also equal 5x plus 10. Okay. So we know that their corresponding side will be 5x plus 10. And we talked about this in the other video where if I have two angles right next to each other on the same line, they're supplementary, and supplementary angles add up to equal 180 degrees. So that means I can add these two angles together and equal them to 180. So I'd write 5x plus 10 plus 9x plus 2, and I'm going to set that equal to 180, because 2 Angles right next to each other are supplementary, and when you add them together, it equals 180 because they're on the same line. Okay, let's go ahead and combine like terms and add together. So 5x and 9x is 14x, and then 10 plus 2 is 12 equals 180. Okay, in order to get x by itself, we have to subtract 12. So 14x equals 1. It's going to be 158. No, 168. Sorry, 168. Okay, and then you divide by 14 on both sides. And x is going to equal, let's see, 1, 2, 12. And again, so, well, it's hidden behind there, so it's 12. Okay, so if you were actually to plug it in, you would actually find what the degree is. So 5 times 12 is 60, 60 plus 10 is 70. Oh, just like the other one. And then that says 9. 9 times 12 is... 
Yeah, 9 times 12 is... Um, well, 108. 108 plus 2 is 110. Okay. And, again, if this bottom one is 70, that means this is 70. And 70 plus 110 equals 180. So it works out for us there. All right, so that is how you solve algebraic expressions within parallel lines using all the theories we learned about all the angles inside parallel lines.